Welcome to this class. Welcome to this healing class of ewehub.com. I'm really happy that you're here and that you took time to join. Um, we're here with a bunch of us, uh, so to speak. And um, like we said, we come together for one pur with one purpose. And um, where two or more are gathered, um, Jesus is with us in that. And our Christ mind is the one that is speaking in terms of, okay, this is the information that comes to us in this present moment. So in order to be fully aware of this present moment, we will calm our minds down and slow down altogether anyway. So you might want to breathe a little bit or sit back and really relax to let this all come to you, you know, and let yourself be washed over by what can affect you deep inside of you. So I would say just take time to relax, to put your concerns away for a moment on the shelf, as I say many times, like put your, put your concerns on the shelf, put all the ideas that you hold about yourself on the shelf and um, put everything that you think what God is or what you're doing right now, forget about that too. So this, this moment, this present moment, um, it has literally no uh, link whatsoever to what appeared to be just a minute ago or 10 years ago or 20 years ago. So um, isn't that great? You can just let it go. It has no relationship with this moment because this moment is too complete and too whole in itself for anything else to be added onto it. So this is, this is where we're going to sink into and, and yeah, start to experience and feel literally the infinity that's being um, presented in this moment. Literally the love of God is pouring down on you in this present moment. And so that takes a little bit of acceptance and, and um, yeah, it's good to relax into that. Ah, so that's better. Yes. If we all relax, then the communication is just consciously um, say brought back to us. Like the communication is never broken. So it is always there in your mind. It is, there's always communication. Uh, but we're not always aware of it. And in this moment, we dedicate to that, to be consciously communicating from deep within with every aspect of creation. So that's, that's the invitation to this. And that sounds very simple. That's too simple for you because you say like, oh, well, I did just this and this and uh, let my, just check out my story. It's really horrible what happened today. It's, I say, no, 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 wait a minute. No, 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 just let that go. It has nothing to do with this present moment. So we're going to relax deeply into what's been given, what's been given in this moment to us. And uh, see, in that, in that receiving is at the same time an extension. So you are literally, when you receive this, you're literally extending the love and light of God that's being presented to you in this present moment. And um, yeah, if you relax deep enough, you are able to experience that just like that. So it's not that you have to do a certain trick for it, but it is, it is slowing yourself down a little bit. No, you don't have to do this. No, you don't have to do that. No, you, you have every right to sit here and be with me for a second. You have every right to, to put everything aside because literally where you're busy with uh, your whole day has nothing to do with reality. So these, these 35 minutes or 40 minutes now are a golden time to you because you literally don't have to be concerned with what occupies your mind the rest of the day. Or maybe you meditate a lot and, and are able to expand that moment a little bit during the day. That's wonderful too. See, I don't say that that is necessarily, that that's absolutely necessary. It can just be helpful to have a joyous day so that you take time during the day that you sit back and relax and remember that what is given to you 
and what the appropriate response is to this moment. Like the appropriate response to this moment is, is more like as a human being, you're running through your day or you're occupied, your mind is occupied with all kinds of stuff. When you put that down, then suddenly you come in a whole different space, a whole different sphere, so to speak. And that is also an invitation to a, to a bit of humility and a gratitude, you know? So you have, if, if you calm down enough, you just come into your gratitude, literally. You, you start to feel joyous for no reason whatsoever. And that is so great to, to practice this during the day. Not that you have to do that all day, that's not what I'm saying, but it is more like, if you feel that you're trusting your own power, so to speak, and you feel exhausted, or you feel that you're not centered, or you feel that you wouldn't even know where your gratitude is, then it's good to stand still and, and take a moment to sink a little deeper into your consciousness and, and come to the place where it's quiet and still. And suddenly you remember, ah, oh, here is home. Yes, oh, the kingdom is inside of me. Isn't that great that I take that with me? I'm so happy. Like for no reason, I suddenly remember it, that that is my true nature. So, and then I be about my business again. You know, you can do that. So you're still in that communication that, like I said, that never stops. You know, the communication with God is unbroken. It is always there. So you can use that in every moment that you are able to remember that. And uh, so that takes, a, that takes a little training to remember that you can access it. But it is at the same time always there. And that is where you start to rely on. So this basically is all about trust. You know, all about trust and reliance. You trust what is going on. You rely on spirit. You rely on the messages that you get in, the, in this present moment. So that is, <clears throat> that is a bit of training, like I said, but at the same time, you can do little experiments. This is, this is your place to experiment with it. Like in this daily life or whatever you call your life, it is for you to experiment with the idea that spirit literally is telling you where to go, what to do, um, you know, helps you to relax or gives you exactly what you need in the present moment. And, um, ah, okay, see, now I come to the place where I feel like, oh, okay, we can sink deeper again. Oh, that's so great. Ah, okay, so... Here's a little bit of mind expansion. You see my arms disappear into, into space even when I do that on the screen. So that's kind of funny. But um, it's like there's a lot of expansion possible. You know, that's why I love this background now I speak about it. I love this background because it is like, yeah, this is the universe. This is you and your universe. And as a human being, you're so accustomed to the idea that that's all far away and that that's all you know, this and that. You have all kinds of ideas, of limited ideas about the universe. But like you just felt in a, a moment ago, you experienced the spaciousness of your mind. And it's literally inside of you. Like you're literally in the middle of your universe. And that means also that you can go wherever you want to in your ideas. You know, you can go wherever you want to. You're not limited by anything. So, and that doesn't mean that you have to go to every corner of the universe, but it means that you are, there's spaciousness in your mind. So if you find that in your, in your daily meditations, if you come into a, a mind expansion in that sense, you, you immediately come to the, uh, the beauty of all of this or the freedom that you can experience in this. Uh, so the more space you have in your mind, literally, the more spacious that is, the more possible for the light is to penetrate your mind. And uh, what does that do with you? Well, the light coming into you, literally coming into you, receive that for yourself, is, is um, doing something to your physical presence too. So it is, it 
comes literally into your cells. It resonates a different uh, frequency into your system. And that's where, uh, where the healing occurs too. So your cells start to recognize the new vibration of love entering into your system. And it's like the cells are becoming happy and your, your, even your genetics starts to change. And that means also that old memories can be stirred up for a moment and they can present themselves. Or, but you just let them pass through because you don't have to deal with them anymore. They're just ready to be released. And you go through them, you feel them, they're allowed to be there. But at the same time, you recognize, ah, something great is occurring because I literally can trust that this new frequency that comes to me is dealing with whatever is happening in my body. So most of us, like starting to practice this, are looking even younger, you know, even in their physical appearance. So because you have a mindset that you're literally coming into a state of letting go with your mind, you're not trying to follow everything, but you, you try to let go of what happened before instead of holding on to it. And that makes your mind a lot faster and also a lot lighter because as a human being, you're accustomed to trying to knit everything together to, to try to, uh, to learn from the past, to try to keep memories together with you. You know, you want to keep your, yeah, your beautiful memories with you and all of that. And I'm not saying that that's not okay or that, that that's not uh, working out for your transformation. No, what I'm actually saying is this, like those memories are good. You know, if you have a great memory, that's wonderful. Uh, you will remember it when, when it's being called to you. You don't have to do that actively yourself. So, and that includes also the idea of, no, there's nothing going to be taken away from you when you let go. You know, you might think like, yeah, okay, if I don't have the past anymore to hold on to, like what's left over of me, because I'm literally a whole memory package of past ideas. You know, you are you're appear to be born in this world, you live some time, you have your relationships, you have your experiences, your circumstances, your goals and whatever your achievements and uh, you know you cannot yeah that's what you do as a human being like you you are memory package so in order then of the idea of letting go can can stir up some fear because you really think that you're going to lose something or something is going to be taken away from you and uh, of course that is not possible because literally ideas leave not their source you know you were the one thinking them they cannot go anywhere so to come to let your mind come into the action of letting go is literally having a possibility of entering into the present moment all the time because it is not related to the past anymore and um, to have a, have a mind set literally on letting go also means that uh, in the practicality of it is like you can't remember a thing. Uh, but, uh, you know, and that, that can be funny because you don't remember people's names or whatever. And, um, but still you recognize them because you know them, but you don't know their names anymore. So that is, that is one of the things that, it can, that can happen with that. And see, the, the thing is that in the present moment, everything is given to you to use. You know, if you need information or you need to remember something, it will be presented in this present moment. And, and um, the reliance on that for you is an absolute great thing to discover that it's working 100%. Like it works a lot better than you trying to carry around all these things that you try to remember. You know, that's a very tiring thing. So the action of letting go and being open to the present moment is a lot easier and a lot more exciting too, because you literally start to, start to um, rely on what's been given in this moment. So this is how I do this class too, how I prepare, so to speak, for it, is to let go, 
to let go of any idea that I know what I'm going to do in five minutes. You have no idea what you're going to say or what you're going to do in five minutes. So and that is applicable to every little step during the day. If you rely on, on spirit to, for uh, say the, yeah, the sustenance. And it works so good and so great. So I'm really happy to, to be able to extend this to you because I can tell you, like I literally use the certainty, uh, the Jesus uncertainty principle, literally. And that is like, no, you don't know what's going to happen in the next five minutes, but you don't have to know at the same time. So to stay in a, a sense of uncertainty, in terms of I'm not going to fill anything in what is going to happen in five minutes to be completely open to receive the moment as it is, is a very joyous thing because you're literally confirming your reliance on your connection with spirit and, and the direct communication with every aspect of creation. So that stirs up and that shakes up and that, um, yeah, confirms literally that relationship that is there. So all, all the things that you try to do without doing it this way is going to be work. You know, it's going to be, you get tired of it. You, you are uncertain about it. Like you're not sure about anything, uh, what you have been doing or thinking or deciding or stuff like that. You know, or you recognize like, oh, I'm trying to solve solve something here. And at the same time, the problem is only getting bigger. Stuff like that. Stuff like what you can remember that you did. You know, so the mind is set on letting go because nothing has, it has no relationship to the past whatsoever. This moment is free to be itself. And this moment is perfect in itself. It is complete. And that is so cool. You know, that's so cool to allow that or to share that with one another and to celebrate that with one another. Because literally when you accept this present moment, you enter into a state of one mindedness of your Christ mind. And as you know, there is only one mind and that is your Christ mind, you know? So in that you can celebrate together even though there's only one. So in the recognition that there's only one, we come together in this meeting too. And the healing power of recognizing that is un unlimited. So I would say join with me in this moment. Just put away all your defenses, put away all your ideas that you hold about what you think is going on and just be re re yeah, receptive to what is occurring in this present moment. Like discover it like a, like a child discovers a new play or uh, something like that. You know, you can really use the curiosity of a kid in that sense. So you're in high expectancy without expecting anything. But the, the sense is like you're open and receptive and anything can happen and you're okay with that. You trust that what's been given in this present moment is literally what you are going to embrace. Okay, I hope that's not too much for you. And just this goes step by step. You rely on it as much as you can and you get the confirmation. So that's, that's always the great thing with, with what is true, is true always, it doesn't have exceptions. And that means that if you try this uh, as an experiment for yourself, you, you re will receive the confirmation that it is working like that. So do small steps, do the steps that you can, that you dare to do, so to speak. So it's literally an invitation to be dared. Like, you know, the results of your own thinking, you already know what that is. Otherwise you would not be here in this meeting you already discovered that what you are looking for as a human being is absolutely senseless. And what you're thinking about yourself is absolutely senseless too. You know, it's like that is, that's not going to confirm your real identity whatsoever. So it is basically always confirming your separation from everything or your limitation. 
or whether you perceive that in financial business, in relationships, in sickness and pain and all of that. This is always a limited edition, so to speak. It's a limited edition of yourself. While you have an unlimited edition ready in you that is complete in itself and can present itself in this present moment. It sounds too easy. It sounds too good to be true. At the same time, it is true and it is good and, and literally confirmed by God. It's like I, God created this moment that is you in your true self, in your Christ mind. Create this moment and you see it is perfect in itself. It doesn't need anything. There's nothing to be added onto except your own joy. So I'm really happy that you join with me in this present moment and allow this healing to occur to you and this alignment with um, who you really are. You know, and that can be as, as broad and as much as you want. It's literally up to you to accept this, to be open to it. So yeah, it can help to relax and focus your attention on your, on your breathing for a second, just to relax deeper into your belly or into your stillness. And um, yeah, because a part of your mind wants to be kept busy, so you might as well give it, do, give it something to do in terms of focus on your breathing, relax your muscles or some of that you know then your mind has something to do in the meantime your mind can expand by itself and light can enter into your system and your system is a broad idea about yourself it is not limited to your body whatsoever like you can feel the light but you don't even know where you feel that or how that's working in the first place not that you need to discover that at all i'm just saying it is not limited to your ideas about it ah, and if you feel like you can spread your arms if you feel like you can stand up you can shake around a little bit it's like okay i want to receive this i'm going to receive the love of god for myself in this present moment i close my eyes i start breathing or moving around or dancing it's like oh yes this is not limited to something that you read read in a book no this is your expression of your extension of yourself and that's so great if if that works for you sitting in a chair and completely uh, yeah completely <laughs> being out there so that is fine too but if you feel like moving do it if you feel like dancing put on some music and do it you know this is your personal experience of yourself and that is like yeah i never read that in a book you know in that sense it, it's more like, yeah, this is your discovery of who you really are. And that comes to you in your very personal, individual way. And okay, I can already see some arms going up. Yeah, that can be really helpful. It's like, okay, ah, I would love, thank you, God, for everything in this present moment. Thank you for everything that you give to us and that we can receive for ourselves. Ah. And that comes to me in my way and I can express it in my way, just like you, you know, it's like, yeah, to express it is really nice too. say thank you or say this or that, whatever feels good to you or make some noise or sigh or laugh or cry, release your old identity because there's literally nothing that you want to hold on to. So what is real about you is just present. So you don't need to defend that. You don't need to establish that or you don't need to do anything for that except letting go all your ideas about it. You know, that's what, so what is true is true always. And uh, that's so great. So I can let go of everything without losing anything. You know, it's like, no, what is true about me is still here. It's always present with me. Ah. 
I'm just amazed and really amazed that that everything is given in this moment. Like I, if you would have asked me just before this class, where, where are you going to be talking about or what's the subject of tonight? I would not have known anything about that. You know, and now it's like, I don't even know what I'm saying, but I'm trusting what's been given that that's what I extend in this moment and literally flows through me. And that is, so, you know, I'm I'm so amazed that that's always working out and I can completely trust that. Even though in some moments, like I said, maybe before, it's like sometimes I have the feeling that it's it looks like an inappropriate thing to say, but it, it does something, it shakes something up or it is activating or it is, you know, like anything can happen in that sense. And um, that makes it very uh, free in itself. You literally allow that moment to be as it is and not as you want to shape it be with a certain goal, you know? Yeah, it always, it always brings me back to uh, one line that the teacher told me, and that is this, uh, that is like all thinking that leads to conclusions is not thinking at all. And that is the joy of coming into this present moment. The 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 whole idea of, coming into the knowing, like into the direct experience of yourself is so much faster and so much broader than uh, to, uh, to be um, limited to your own ideas about things, you know? So all of this that I'm presenting is basically based, like the whole idea of a present moment is, is not just an idea of, okay, now I'm here, in this present moment no it is literally a portal where you, where you can disappear into and you go through it to to meet with yourself with capital s so it's a portal it's a revelation it is an invitation to a personal experience of the anni yeah, annihilation literally of your human identity by letting go of all the ideas that you hold about yourself So what then is real about you can present itself finally. And that's basically what we call coming home, literally coming home in yourself. You remember home together with me. You remember home and that feels so connected and, and is an experience in itself and it's unexplainable literally. It is not understandable, but it is a full experience of the joy that you are. So thank you so much for joining with me in this and that we can express this to one another, that we can invite each other. So it's like, yeah, remember me of this, you know, remember me that this present moment is with me and celebrate it with me because what else am I going to do if this is the only real time there is you know in this time joel says this too in his a lot of his teachings it's like this is the only way to stay out of the idea of karma you know because you're literally not in time you're literally in the fourth dimension or even beyond that you're not here you you you're not here on this planet earth and living your uh, human identity life no you're in the present moment present and extending yourself as the love that you are in that is no karma it's nothing that comes back to you except like loads of joy and uh, connectedness and fulfillment and joy and, and all of that you know that is that's being presented in this but no karma in that sense so that is another good reason to to practice this you know to stay out of it because you don't want you don't want something to come back to you uh, from your time life so to speak it is very slow the time that you were used to live in if you walk around through town now or you sit and converse with people you recognize oh my god my mind is so much faster it's it's like totally speeded up and everything in this world that appears to be in front of me is so slow everything is 
going to take ages for a little change and it's also full of effort so it's like that is unbelievable i cannot i cannot describe the time that i'm waiting for a red light it can take like forever literally for it to to turn into green you know and experiences like that start to come too when you come into the letting go so that you don't even know how long you have been standing in front of this red light it took forever literally you literally experienced it, that it took forever so and that's the same with decisions if you if you learn to make decisions using spirit and making decisions is then handing them over like okay i don't want to decide anything for myself and i allow christ in me to decide for me is is a way of making decisions that is so fast and so certain that that as a human being you would never ever be able to do that in that way and have that experience that certainty that literally and that is present all the time that certainty that is yeah that takes away literally all doubt about what you are doing what what has been decided or what is coming to you you know it takes away all the doubt and you can't imagine that as a human being that there would be such a thing so an important part of the confusion of a human being mindset so to speak is of course that you don't trust and also that you don't believe in in unlimited ideas and in absolute ideas in terms of whole ideas of love and of fulfillment as a human being we're yeah you're always used to uh, walking in the middle of the road not too happy not too sad you want to stay like and balanced is what we call it. you know and that is like literally that idea of a balance in that sense is is what death is it is death you know this so the whole idea of uh, love is is an so-called and an, an, in that sense an extreme idea it is total in itself you know, it's, there's not a bit of love and a bit of hate. No, it's a total idea of all-encompassing love or peace or happiness. And that is not limited by anything. So that is quite different than the way that, that you were used to be thinking as a human being. And that's also um, maybe the fear that you're trying to go through in terms of accepting that there's such thing as a whole idea that can completely become a revelation to you and um, that you can completely disappear into it it literally becomes a revelation to you so that's a whole different story than than a limited idea that you can hold about yourself where you are still in control like okay i'm going to accept this part of it but that part is absolutely unacceptable to me like no 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 there's nothing to do with it so here is a whole idea because your mind is literally whole that is the only true mind that's with you so the rest has no meaning and has nothing to do with anything hmm. so can you start to feel that an expansion and unlimitedness are you are you willing to jump in the, into that with me i hope that you do because it's a great experience it is it is like um, yeah in sports you might experience something like that but then it can become really dangerous like uh, something like uh, going into a jumpsuit uh, jumping off of a of a cliff or something like I'm not telling you to do that, but uh, it is like okay, I'm just jump into it, and but here is uh, the jumping into your total certainty about it. It's a totally different thing than the adrenaline that will rush through you when you jump off a cliff. So and that is that's in, yeah, not really comparable in that sense. But it's what we try to do as human beings. So you, you try to experience that freedom because you have a memory of it. You can only express it in your own limited ways by using gravity to to prove that you can be free or something. 
So this is a lot easier. It doesn't need any uh, Band-Aid or anything like that. So it's not riskful at all. It is a total jumping literally into your total certainty, letting go of fear and jumping into your total certainty. So that's what's been given in this present moment to you. And I'm thanking you so much for joining with me in that. And um, I hope to see you next week or some other day or write me an email if you feel like it at iwihub at gmail.com or um, go to the website iwihub.com to, to pose a question or to invite us to, to for healing, for training, whatever you want to do. Okay, thank you so much and um, I hope to see you soon. Thank you.